a twitch of the hips, a tap of the foot, and graceful arms in sync with the vibrant rhythm. This is traditional Congolese dance, and every week these artists meet here in an effort to preserve it. Of course, we have to protect it. We must always hold on to our traditions. In each tribe, messages are sent through dancing. We, as traditional artists, we cherish our traditions, and it's important for the life of our tribes. Juko Nzenza leads the dancers. They come from across the DRC, representing some of the country's 200 ethnic groups. They've mastered their traditional dances, but it's an art that doesn't get nearly as much attention as Congo's sukus, famed across Africa. New sukus dance moves shared on social media quickly go viral. And Fali Ipupa, arguably the best sukus pop star in the DRC these days, has taken the dance to a new level. His music videos and concerts set the tone for what will trend in the streets. But 20-year-old Abigail Pemba says traditional dance is her priority. She focuses on preparing her body for the acrobatic movements. For her, it's more than just a dance. It's our heritage. My mother is also a dancer. Ballet Arumbaya in Dindeli takes traditional dance to the level of high-performance art. The Kinshasa-based group combines strong visual elements with intricate choreography. And Zeza and his ballet Grand Danseur hope to do the same and even more. To go as far as possible, to Western countries, to many other countries, not simply playing in Congo, to sign many contracts, to perform here and there in great halls. Chika Odua for VOA News in Kinshasa.